Uh, yeah, let's go right there. Oh, yeah. Wait, did you get the part? Like, what happened? <laughs> So you're seeing me in my natural habitat right now. I'm looking like a burrito. And uh, it's currently 4.30 a.m. in the morning. I'm currently editing this vlog. I really want to get it up tomorrow just because I've been working on it for the past couple of weeks. But um, one thing that I just noticed in this vlog is that Anthony Ramos, I did not realize that he said my man when I said that I was on Law & Order. I had no idea. Like, literally. I was caught up in the moment because, Brett, I mean, Bradley Cooper's giving me a thumbs up, Lady Gaga's, like, rooting me on, and then Dave Chappelle's, like, stopping press conferences to, like, ask me a question that I didn't even notice that he did that. And the reason why that thing means so much to me right now, what he did, is because last week I auditioned for Broadway, and I have to be, like, really ambiguous about what musical I auditioned for. But, you know, I have been feeling a lot of doubt and fear in the past week ever since that audition because, you know, I, I want it to happen so badly and I, I don't know if it's going to happen. I made some really distinct choices, I think, during my audition that goes along with whatever the musical or the play is. But, um... In the vlog that you guys just saw, I talk a lot about being an individual and how that's the key to your success. And I think I needed to see Anthony saying my man more now than ever because he has something to do with the Broadway musical that I auditioned for. And now I just feel fearless, truly. It's weird. Today is November 13th, 2018, and I feel fearless. I auditioned for one of the greatest, if not the greatest, Broadway musical of all time last week, and I'm going to surrender it and release it. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I am just so proud to have even been able to audition for it. This TIFF experience was so magical and really changed me in ways that nobody will ever know. You know, it's such a full circle moment to be in that room with all of those people. And last week was my first Broadway musical audition. And the fact that I auditioned for a role that Anthony may or may not have played in the past is amazing. And you know, I thank God every day. I feel so blessed in this lifetime, and I, I can't believe how far I've came. I'm just so proud of where I am in my life today. You know, I talk about in that Star is Born vlog that, you know, the reason why that meant so much to me, what Bradley said, was because before then, I was always that ugly kid from Ohio who didn't think that he could be an actor. I never thought that I was good looking enough to be on television, that I was talented enough. I mean, you have to understand that people who get out of Ohio, they become sports stars. You know, like that was what I was raised to think. You know, I didn't think that acting was ever a possibility. I didn't know somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who was an actor. So the fact that I was so inspired by Bradley Cooper and then getting inspired again by A Star Is Born and then this morning getting inspired again by seeing this Anthony Ramos thing, it's crazy. It's, it's absolutely crazy what the power of inspiration can do. And I just hope that, you know, these vlogs, I hope that people are able to look back on them one day, even with my Law & Order, even if Law & Order is the biggest thing that I ever do, right? I hope that people who who want to be on Law & Order one day, even if it's just for a scene like I was in. Um, I hope that they're able to watch those videos and become inspired because I had, you know, a hundred videos before then talking about how much I just wanted to act and be an actor. And things are coming full circle, you know? I hope if you're out there and you want to be an actor and you want to be, you know, and you want to audition for the biggest musicals or the biggest movies or television shows. I hope that you never give up on your dreams because I hope that I'm testament, Bradley's testament, Lady Gaga's testament, Dave Chappelle's testament, Anthony Ramos' testament, that anything that you dream will come true as long as you continue to 
believe in the dreams and work your ass off every single day. And I think that that's such an important message. But okay, I'm going to get off of here. This was so spur of the moment, but I just wanted to say that I didn't realize that until now. And I was going to include this in that vlog, but I was like, nah, I'll just, I'll just leave it be. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm doing this at 4.30 a.m. When this posts, I'll probably be sleeping. So, um, but yeah, cross your fingers for me. I hope I get a call back for whatever musical or play I audition for. You know, you have these dreams and you just want them to come true. So, and they will. All right. Bye, guys.